the 4th of July parades we covered yesterday. In Cumberland, the Arnold Mills Parade celebrated 86 years. This year's event stepped off at 11 yesterday morning with marching bands, dance troops, fire trucks, custom cars, and more. After the parade, there were refreshments and music at the Arnold Mills United Methodist Church. And in Gloucester, the annual Ancients and Horribles Parade took place yesterday afternoon. It was the 86th procession with participants, as always, spoofing local events, traditions, and politicians. Yep, that's, nope, that's not a politician, I don't think. Okay. And of course, it would not be the 4th of July without the historic parade in Bristol for this occasion. We sent one of our newest reporters, Tony Gugliotta, to check out the 227-year-old parade. 4th of July means um, celebrating our country's veterans and um, having fun. That sums it up, doesn't it? Bristol has been having this kind of fun for 227 years. There's nothing like celebrating America in Bristol, Rhode Island. And everyone is getting in on the action, like two-year-old Tyler, a first-time parade goer. It's important because I grew up going to the parade and he's going to love the fire trucks. How long you been coming to this parade? 50 years. I'm creeping up on my 26th one. This is my first time here. In fact, Jordan Swandeck is a high school band leader in Maple Lake, Minnesota. He and his kids couldn't pass up a chance at marching. To be experiencing that with all the other cores and whatnot that's out here, that's quite the experience. Among the bands and floats, the throngs of parade goers were treated to a who's who of Rhode Island. Among the honored participants, the dancing cop, and crowd favorite Miss USA herself. Oh my God! It was it was cool. And um, my this is my tenth year here, tenth parade. Cause yeah, it was awesome. So let's pop a cork and toast America, a place that Rhode Islanders are proud of. Take a look around. We got all sorts of heroes. We got firefighters. We got policemen. Everybody's doing their part, and everybody is just united in the spirit of freedom. Tony Gugliotta, NBC 10 News.